In this video, we're going to take a look at how we can determine how much of a set of data is within certain standard deviations of the mean. So we're going to start with the empirical rule, which states that, so the empirical rule states that for a population, Uh, that is normally distributed okay what does that terminology normally distributed mean mean uh, it means that the data is symmetrical about the mean so we get something that looks like this so when we see data like that, <clears throat> then we have pro approximately and then we have some information related to that and that is that approximately 68% of the data lies within one standard deviation of the mean. 95% lies within two standard deviations of the mean. And 99.7% lies within three standard deviations of the mean. All right, uh, which gives us uh, quite a bit of information um, with this. So, uh, this is a nice statement. Um, if a population is normally distributed, uh, and it may, may seem that something like this may not happen all that often, uh, because how often are things symmetrical? Uh, well, it actually turns out that happens probably more than uh, you might realize. Uh, and so something like this can happen quite a bit uh, out in the real world. And... This gives us a nice way to determine where most of our information lies when the population is normally distributed or there is a normal distribution on the data set. And we'll talk a lot more about normal distributions uh, later in this semester. Uh, but for now, just know that most of the data um, lies within three standard deviations, in particular 99.7% of the data will lie within three standard deviations, 95% within two, and 68% within one. Okay. Well, what if we don't have a normally distributed set of data? Then we have something called Chebyshev's theorem. So let's discuss that real quick. <clears throat> and that is that for any data set, this includes normal distributions, but particular, in particular for normal distributions, we know even better information. But for any data set, the percentage of values found within K standard deviations of the mean must be at least 1 minus 1 over k squared times 100 percent. So for any data set, 
And by the way, this rule works as long as k is greater than 1. If k is equal to 1, we get 0 here, so we can't really say much about one standard deviation. But you could say information about one and a half standard deviations or two standard deviations or so on. So what does this actually tell us then? Well, let's suppose that we want to know for any random data set, how much data is between uh, the mean minus two standard deviations to the mean plus two standard deviations. Well, let's check that. If k is equal to 2, so this tells us how many standard deviations we are away from the mean, then 1 minus 1 over 2 squared times 100% is 1 minus 1 fourth times 100%, which is 3 fourths times 100%, or in other words, 75%. So what does that say again? This means that for any set of data, no matter how it's distributed, always at least 75% of the data will lie within two standard deviations of the mean. I'll write that out just so you have it written. So this tells us for any data set, we always have at least 75% of the data between the mean minus two standard deviations to the mean plus two standard deviations. So that interval right here, the mean minus two standard deviations to the mean plus two standard deviations is where at least 75% of the data will lie. Now recall the empirical rule earlier said that 95% of the data will lie in this interval for normally distributed data. Uh, well, 95% is greater than 75%, so this rule still holds, right? We, all this says is that at least 75% of the data is there, but when the data is normally distributed, we know a lot better, and it turns out there's also just a lot more within this region. But for any data set, no matter how it is distributed and how crazy it can get, at least 75% will be within this interval. Uh, and that will conclude this video.